All right. Well, Bubba, Watson, thank you guys for joining us for a few minutes. Uh, just some comments on how special of an event you're finding this to be. I know it's uh, kind of something special, especially right before Christmas time. Great way to spend time with family. Yeah, for sure. It, it's one of those things where, you know, you, you've I've heard about this tournament, thought about this tournament, and I didn't know the criteria to get into it, you know. And so, when, obviously, in 2010, when my dad passed away, you know, it never was a thought again. And then uh, this year, sitting on the couch, we were we were just sitting there watching a movie in the morning, and he said, um, Dad, I would like to play in the father-son. And I was like, the father-son? What are you talking about? And he said, the local father-son that our, my friends played in last year. So there's just a local course. And um, I said, what about the real one? Because it was the same day that, that Tiger, or I heard, I don't know about any of y'all, but I heard, it was the same day I heard that Tiger and, and Charlie were going to play. And so I was like, wait, is he talking about the real one? Does he already know about the real one? Like the real father and son? And so I reached out as, as quick as I could to see if there was any way that um, my father-in-law could play. Thinking about the future, wanting him to see us play and wanting us to see us laughing and giggling. Not about um, if you win or lose. It's just about having fun. And so um, that's what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to come see it and, and be a part of it and be a part of golf because what the, the history of golf is about. And you think about the PGA Tour and just this tournament alone, the charity dollars, the hospital, Children's Hospital that Arnold Palmer was involved in and, and what they're doing for the, the charity dollars in the local community here. That's what I want him to learn about and understand. And so for me, coming to this tournament was a dream come true that they let us in and, um, and be, letting him be here. He just wanted to miss school, but I, I really wanted him to come here and, and see the game and what the game means to a lot of people and, and the, the impact that it's having on a community and on kids around the world. Yes, we made a we made an eagle right here uh, to finish up. Um, old Lou, he finally made a putt, and so um, it, it was nice. Caleb shot him a few times with a Nerf gun. We get on the back nine there. We decided that if we're going to start shooting you with a Nerf gun if you're not making any putts, and so Lou had to finally make one. So he made it from the fringe for eagle on the last hole there. And I shot Justin Thomas. You shot Justin Thomas this morning. Yeah, when he when Justin walked into the clubhouse without him knowing, he snuck up behind him and shot him in the back of the leg. So so we scared Justin real quick. It was uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, par five. Yeah. We're 235 out and um, hit a four iron and hold it for a two. Double eagle. My second double eagle in my uh, in my golfing career. Uh, once at Sherwood at the uh, the Tiger uh, shootout and um, and now here. So yeah, it was uh, it was cool for me to make my second uh, two one par five. Oh yeah, it's always my drive, right? That's what <laughs> we tell everybody. Um, it, it happened to be, so it was good. Okay. It was good for me. Well, great. Well, we'll take a few questions from these guys. Uh, Bubba, just wondering uh, what you're expecting from your game, uh, sort of big picture in 2021. And uh, so, as a follow-up to that, Tiger is turning 45 in a couple of weeks here. And um, what you're expecting from Tiger's game from the ages of 45 to 50? You know. Um, Let's talk about me first, uh, obviously. Um, I'm, I'm looking to, I want to play, I want to I want to make the Ryder Cup team. I want to make the President's Cup team still. I, I want to compete, and um, I'm trying to do different things in my life to get me where I can compete at a high level still. Um, I think we're, we're on the right track. We, we were doing some things, and I think we're on the right track, working on putting, trying to get the putting better. We can all use a few more putts, you know. And so um, I think I'm, you know, a few majors away, five or six wins away from Hall of Fame, something like that. So I would love to push and, and push myself. Uh, still feel like I have a lot of good golf in me. Um, my ball striking got improved this year. My results didn't really get where I wanted to, uh, but we're trending in the right direction. Uh, so I'm looking forward to a, a good year, uh, so-called more normal year, um, with some fans showing up here and there. Um, here's some cheers, here's some roars. Um, and then Tiger, I, I've been telling Tiger this whole year that he needs to start voting for 45 on that Champions Tour. I said, look, man, I'm getting close to 45, and you're really close, so we need to start voting. If you vote for 45, they'll do it. They'll change it for you. Uh, you can ride in a cart. Like I was trying to sweet talk him the whole time. And, um, and then I told him, too, I said, Phil Mickelson's one up on him. Now two up, but I said, Phil Mickelson's one up. You've never won a Champions Tour event, so you need to hurry up and get there so you can – so I said, I'm trying to give him to vote for 45. But um, as we've seen, when Tiger's feeling feeling good, 
Uh, again, I've never went through a back injury. I've never had, especially an injury like his with surgery and everything. So I think the golfing world wants to see it. We want to see him challenge. We want to see him challenge for majors, not just wins. Um, I think his whole family wants to see it. I, you know, the growth of the game, that's what this tournament's about right here. And when you talk about Charlie seeing him and Charlie wanting to compete like his dad years from now, um, we want, we want, we love Tiger. We want to see him succeed. Um, but again, it comes down to how he feels. What's the weather like? What's, what did he do? How's his body reacting? And as you get older, it's going to start slowing down no matter what. And now it's going to slow down even more because of his surgeries and injuries. Um, but hopefully, you know, we still have those roars that we've, we've seen here and there um, over the last couple of years uh, with Atlanta, with Augusta and Japan. You know, we would love to see him. I think we all want to see it. I mean, it creates more media jobs, the better he does. And so there would be a lot more of you guys uh, asking questions. And so I think that's what the golfing world wants to see, and I would definitely want to see it because I'm a huge fan um, on and off the, the course for him, for what he's been able to do for, for junior golf and, and for kids around the, around the world. Bubba, how do you describe uh, Caleb's game at this point, and, and what do you think is an appropriate age for him to participate in this with you? You know, it's, it's one of those things uh, – you know, my father-in-law is not very good. So, you know, I, it's not really about how good you are at the game. It's about how much you enjoy it, I guess we'll say. Uh, so he enjoys it a lot. Um, so for me, it's about seeing um, the drive, the dedication. Um, you know, he's going to need to be, give or take, 11, 12, 13 years old, to, you know, before I, he gets to the level where he could be out here playing with us. Um, but right now he's not really interested in it. He, he's more interested in uh, he wants to play football. He wants to play baseball. He wants to be a catcher. He's a phenomenal little catcher. Um, but I want him to play. And I want him to play because he can play with mom. He can play with uh, grandpa. He can play with dad. And not about, it's not about a score. You know, as we see, it's, it's beautiful weather. It's out here laughing and joking, cutting up. And so that's what I wanted him to see this week and see that with me and his, uh, me and his grandfather. And I wanted him to uh, see that we're enjoying it no matter what we shoot. As long as we don't come in dead last, you know, we'll be happy. And so uh, – that's what I want him to see, and maybe when he gets home, us owning a driving range, maybe he'll want to go to the driving range a little bit more and practice a little bit. Good. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, thank you. You want to say anything? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay, I'm going to speak all tonight. All right, a boy. Yeah, he said he's going to speak all tonight on stage. I have a question. Um, are we going to practice afterwards? No. Hey. Now we are, yes. Now we are just because of that. When I say practice, we're going to just sit there, and you're going to have to sit there. The whole you can't go play golf. <laughs>